uh, when we complete, you will able to define what is the anemia. You can able to list the causes of diminished erythropoiesis. You can describe it on the peripheral blood finding. Uh, discuss the metabolism and biochemical function of vitamin B12. Discuss the pathogenesis, morphology, and clinical feature of pernicious anemia. List the metabolic process related to for the folic acid. Just recall your mind what you have learned. Deficiency, uh, how we define the uh, anemia. We can define anemia as a deficiency in oxygen carrying state capacity of the blood due to diminished erythrocyte mass. This that may be due to the uh, blood loss. They may be due to decreased uh, erythrocyte production. They may be due to the low erythropoietin level due to the decreased marrow response to erythropoietin or increased erythrocyte destruction or decreased erythropoiesis. Maybe due to any reason anemia can occur. Whenever the person have got a anemia, so uh, the, the main major complaints or major symptom of the anemia is the shortness of breath, change in the color of the stool, uh, pain, weakness, fatigue, uh, maybe a cardiac problem, and if you palpable, there is a palpable uh, spleen, uh, skin color become a little bit, a person look like a pale. So when the question of anemia comes, how we measure? We measure by means of hemoglobin. So, so whenever the, uh, the hemoglobin is actually a red pigment that is present in the blood, so whenever the level of the hemoglobin comes below the low, keeping age and sex in view, then we call it the anemia. We measure by means of hematocrit. We measure by means of RBC count. We measure by the mean cell volume. Uh, uh, if uh, the normal mean cell volume uh, ranges between 80 to 100, if it's more than 100, then we call it the macrocyte. If less than 80, then we call it the microcyte. And the RDW, that is the red cell distribution width. And normally, it ranges between 11 to 15. And if it's more, and if there is any deviation, then uh, then uh, it usually occurs in anemia. Now come to the causes of inadequate production of red cells. There are a number of causes. Maybe the nutritional causes, uh, maybe due to the renal failure, due to the chronic inflammation, or uh, bone marrow failure, uh, uh, or maybe to the infiltrated dis disorder that leads to the marrow replacement. Whenever there is a cancer, these cancer cells get disseminated into the bone marrow and place the, the normal tissue of the bone marrow production. Uh, and that causes the inadequate production of red cells. But today, in this lecture, we will cover only uh, anemia that is related with the nutritional deficiency. So, these are the causes, list of the causes in which the, there is a decrease in the uh, red cell productions. So, we will not go into all the causes that we will discuss uh, the anemia that result due to the vitamin B12 and folate deficiency. So this diagnostic approach based on RBC indices, as we already discussed, the normal mean cell volume ranges between the 80 to 98 or 100. If it's more than 100, then we call it a macrocytic anemia. If less than 80, then we call it the microcytic anemia. And if the things ranges between 80 to 98, then again, if there is an anemia, then we call it a normocytic anemia. See, this is the algorithm that you, uh, you have to remember. Uh, in this, everything is almost covered. Uh, uh, just to recall, so whenever there is an anemia, so Anemia is due to the decreased RBC count, decreased hematocrit, decreased hemoglobin level. So when we talk about uh, in anemia, when we talk about the MCV, so either MCV is normal or it is de decrease or increase. So whenever there is a normal, then we an anemia there, then we call it a normocytic anemia. If there is normocytic anemia, we see the reticulocyte count. If it's a low 
then we call uh, there may be chances of apoplectic anemia of chronic disease and if it is normal reticular count then it is due to the acute blood loss and if it's high then it is due to hemolysis of uh, hemolysis due to chronic blood loss and in case of macrocytic uh, we see the blood uh, morphology so if there is a hyper segmented neutrophil we seen along with the macrocyte then the chances of b12 deficiency folate deficiency and in case of uh, if there is a no hyper segmented neutrophil only macrocytes are seen and target cells are seen that usually occur in the liver disease uh, and in the liver disease the liver enzymes are <coughs> raised so this is a, a allogotherm that you have to keep in mind see in case of macrocytic anemia the mcv is more than 100 and this macrocytic when you see a blood slide uh, a peripheral blood slide and the bone marrow then there is a Mm, um, the megaloblastic anemia or non-megaloblastic anemia. So in megaloblastic anemia, um, that, uh, that usually occur due to the, as we already told, vitamin B12 and folate deficiency that we will discuss in detail and non-megaloblastic list of the causes that we will not discuss in this lecture. Now come to the vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is a very, very essential water soluble vitamin that is needed by every system of our body. All the cells which are synthesizing and at the final stage of the maturation, they need a vitamin B12. So every system needs a vitamin B12 in a minimum compound to perform normally. So it is the found in animal food including meat, fish, egg, milk and other dairy products. So these are the sources of the vitamin B12 that you are seeing. Uh, mostly it is fine, uh, found in the uh, meats, uh, uh, meat and the uh, eggs uh, and the dairy products. Megaloblastic anemia are the heterogeneous group of disorders that share a common morphology characteristics. Erythrocytes are larger, neutrophil can be hypersegmented, megakerocytes in the bone marrow are abnormal. So megaloblastic anemia, when we are talking the etiology, the most the common causes are the vitamin B12 deficiency and the folate deficiency, and 95% and less than 5% are, are, are the other causes. Vitamin B12 deficiency usually occur due to the decreased intake or the inadequate in diet as those who people who are vegetarian and as already I told you that the vitamin B12 uh, the rich foods are the all the, the meats uh, meat uh, meat and uh, fish egg so with the vegetarian people don't eat so there are strong chances of uh, uh, these people suffer from the B12 deficiency. So impaired absorption due to the intrinsic factor deficiency, those people who have gone due to any other gastrectomy or in the malabsorption state or the diffuse intestinal disease or the competitive parasitic uptake, those people who are having a fish tap from infestation suffer from B12 deficiency bacterial overgrowth in blind loop and diabetic of bowel. So these are the causes in which the people get a B12 deficiency. And the folic acid deficiency either due to the decreased intake or due to the impaired absorption and due to the increased loss due to the hemodialysis, increased requirement that is usually occur in the pregnancy, infancy, disseminated cancer, uh, markedly increase the hematopoiesis are due to the impaired utilization uh, utilized due to the if any persons who are taking a folic acid antagonist drug like methotrexate so see that folic acid is present rich richly present in vegetables as well in the uh, meat fish as well so uh, here the vegetarian people take a lot of folic acid so chances of uh, folic acid deficiency 
rarely occur in the people who are vegetarian. Unresponsive to vitamin B12 therapy or folic acid therapy so, so uh, sometimes uh, we are giving a drugs uh, which, uh, which are the inhibitor of the DNA synthesis and the photomodal. So in these people, so folic acid or B12 deficiency will occur. Now see what is the main function of the vitamin B12. There are vitamin B12 act as a coenzyme and it is responsible uh, uh, in converting homocysteine into methionine and it is responsible for the conversion of iso or the isomerization of methyl melonyl coenzyme A to the succinyl CoA. In, in this absence, so the methyl melonyl CoA get if persons who are suffering from mutual deficiency, so their homocysteine level and methyl melonyl co coenzyme A get rise. So this is a so homocysteine is converted into methionine, methyl melonyl converted into succinyl CoA. In these both reaction, vitamin B12 is essential if it is deficient. So mm, the methyl melonyl CoA homocysteine get raised. Another thing is the folate trapping. What is the folate trapping? The fundamental cause of is, of impaired DNA synthesis in vitamin B12 deficiency is due to reduced availability of folate, tetrahydrate folate, so which is trapped as, and then it's called n 5 methyl tetrahydrate folate. Whatever the mechanism, lack of folate is the proximate cause of anemia in vitamin B12 deficiency since the anemia improved with the administration of folic acid. So association between uh, folate vitamin B12 and homocysteine metabolism that we have already discussed. So in DNA synthesis, see, see say, uh, tetrahydrate folate, uh, dihydrofolate converted into tetrahydrofolate, then this is converted into 5 to and methylene tetrahydrofolate. So this cycle helps uh, and methyl B12. So whenever uh, this uh, cycle goes on and this helps in a DNA synthesis. So dihydrofolate converted into data, uh, tetrahydrofolate, uh, it, its conversion is blocked by antifolate ducts. They are such like a methotrexate axis. So in these papers, there is uh, due to any uh, if, uh, on the methotrexate drugs, though they get a deficiency of folic acid. And if there is a deficient folic acid, then, then there is not a proper DNA synthesis. So the final maturation of RBZ doesn't occur and the cell get uh, in the microphytes. Beetle folate deficient affecting all dividing cells. So ineffective hematopoiesis, as already I told you, in, uh, uh, what is the effective hetropoiesis or ineffective hematopoiesis, ineffective erythropoiesis means uh, pro RBC production is this, anemia, ineffective leukopoiesis, leukopenia, ineffective thrombopoiesis, thrombocytopenia, RBC survival that usually in circulation is 120 days that get declined. So overall picture, if there is a severe vitamin B12 and folate deficiency, then overall picture that you will see in the complete blood count is of pancytopenia. Pen means as a whole, cyto means cell, penia means deficiency. So uh, all the three lineage, RBC, WBC and platelet, get deficient. So these are the sign and symptom of the megalobal that is uh, those who suffer from the megalobal, uh, the fatigue, weight loss, GIT symptoms, sore tongue or uh, uh, sore tongue or mouth, neurological symptoms, uh, patient look paler, jaundice, loss of papilla of tongue, beefy red. As a neurological deficit can also cause a dementia or depression. Sign of associated condition if people are vitamin that is like a vitiligo, vitiligo or thyroid disease. Morphology uh, of peripheral smear of the person who is suffering from B12 folate deficiency, we will observe the red cells that are macrocytic and oval.
that we call as a macro oversight, which is highly characteristic. And we will see that there is a larger, uh, these uh, over, uh, macro oversights are larger than the normal and contain ample hemoglobin. Most macrocytes lack of central pillar of normal red cells and even appear hyperchromic. But see that MCHC, mean capsule hemoglobin concentration, is not elevated. And you will see overall the picture there is a huge uh, change, a variation in the size that endocytosis and the shape that pyrocytosis. Nucleated red cells occasionally appear in the circulatory membrane when the anemia is severe, a person suffering from very severe vitamin B12 or folic acid deficiency, then nucleated red blood cells can be seen on the peripheral semia. If we observe the neutrophil, then the neutrophil normally having four to five lobes here. In this, more than four lobes uh, one can see, that is called the toxic neutrophil or the hypersegmented neutrophil. This is the normal picture that you are seeing on the one side and second side you are seeing a uh, megaloblast having seen there is no central pillar uh, and these are the megaloblastic changes due to deficiency. Again here in this slide there is a, a neutrophil that are seen that is a hyper segmented. If we see uh, those people who suffer from the uh, B12 deficiency uh, we see the bone marrow that more marrow will be markedly hypercellular as a result of increased hematopoietic pressure which often completely replace the fatty marrow. Normally what happens to those people with beetle and deficiency, so there is an ineffective withdrawal. So RBC come into the circulation, they get hemolyzed, so there is a huge pressure over the bone marrow for more production. So marrow become, instead of a, uh, normal, they become hypercellular. So the cells uh, having a megalocytes changing are detected at all stages of erythroid can be seen in the bone marrow. The primitive cell that is a poor megaloblast are large with a deeply basal cytoplasm. Permanent nucleoli and distinctive fine chromatic pattern can be seen. So this is a normal erythropoiesis that can be observed in the bone marrow. So this is a megaloblastic erythropoiesis you, and you will find all the four stages. And there is a pro, early, intermediate and late normal blast of the bone marrow in the bone marrow. So this is a megaloblastosis or joint band forms in the bone marrow. Now come to the pernicious anemia. What is a pernicious anemia? Actually, this is due to the uh, again, due to the absorption problem of the vitamin B12, that result in a pernicious anemia. So, absorption of vitamin B12 usually requires intrinsic factor which is secreted by parietal cell of the fundic mucosa or the gastric mucosa. So, vitamin B12 is freed from binding protein and when uh, binding protein in food through the action of pepsin in the stomach and binds to salivary protein called R binder protein. When the food enters into the duodenum, it bound, uh, bound vitamin B12 is released by the action of pancreatic protein. It then associates with the intrinsic factor, attached with the intrinsic factor. This complex is transported to the terminal ileum where it uh, get absorbed. So with, within ileal cells, vitamin B12 associated with major carrier protein transcarbon 2 and from transport deliver the vitamin B to the liver and other cells of the body including rapidly proliferate in the bone marrow and gastrointestinal tract. As already I told you, this vitamin B12 require uh, every cell of the body for the uh, uh, for their synthesis. So in addition to this major pathway, there is also alternate pathway uh, uptake mechanism that is not depend on internal vector or an intact terminal ileum, but that pathway is used uh, less than one percent. That what we have discussed uh, that is showing in the chart when vitamin B12 in a diet when we take they bind with the R protein and when they reach uh, in the stomach. Uh, from the stomach reach the first part of pancreatic enzyme act on it 
and when a pancreatic enzyme act on A8, then what happened? This intrinsic factor that are released from the parietal cells of the stomach get bind with the vitamin B12. This complex get enter uh, at, at the uh, into the terminal ileum through the transcomer one and two, and and then from where it get to the liver and other uh, cells where it is needed. So the absorption mechanism of vitreol is so much complex, so there are strong chances of developing vitreol um, deficiency. So this is a hole that we are seeing uh, uh, the. B12 absorption uh, involved the three stages. There are one in the stomach, another in the pancreas, third in the temp, uh, terminal ileum. A person suffering from any stomach disorder, pancreatic disorder, a problem in the terminal ileum, or low intake like those people who are vegetarian, so that all result in a B12 deficiency. So anemia of vitamin B12 deficiency. Uh, is also one of the anemia that is also called a pernicious anemia. That is a specific for megalovania caused by autoimmune gastritis. So this is an autoimmune disease and failure of in, what happened here? There is a failure of intrinsic factor production which leads to vitamin B12 deficiency. And this is usually the uh, we take the, when we take the any uh, biopsy from the stomach. We will see there is a loss of parietal cell, a permanent inflate of lymphocyte and plasma cells. So there is a chronic atrophic gastritis. Megalovirus changes in mucosa similar to those found in erythroid precursor are present. Three types of autoantibodies are identified in the case of pernicious anemia. Uh, type 1 antibody, this is more than 75%, the type 1 antibody that blocks the binding of vitamin B12 to intrinsic factor. Type 2, uh, type 1 antibodies are found both in plasma and in the gastric juice. Type 2 antibodies prevent binding of intrinsic factor and vitamin B12 complex to its ileal receptor. And uh, the uh, and type 3 antibodies uh, present in 85 to 90% of patients recognize the alpha and beta subunits of the gastric pro proton pump, which is normally localized to the microvilli of the chemical system of the gastric parietal cell. Gastrointestinal lesion in the pernicious end. The stomach typically shows diffuse chronic gastritis, those who are suffering from the pernicious anemia. The most correct alteration is atrophy of fundic gland affecting both chief cell and parietal cell, the latter being virtually absent. The glandular lining epithelium is replaced by the mucus secreting goblet cell that resembles those lining the large intestine, a form of metaplasia referred to an intestinalization. Some of the cell as well that nuclei may increase to double the normal size from a megalovirus change exactly analog to that seen in marrow. So with the time the tongue may become shiny, gland and beefy or atrophic glossitis look. Those people who suffer from pernicious anemia, they look a lemon yellow paler. They have glossitis, glossitis or the beefy tongue. So this is the picture that we will see under the paraphrase similar in which we are seeing a too much macro oversight and the toxic neutrophils. Again, uh, see how, how that this um, multi-lobed or the hypersegmented are so many lobes that you are seeing in the neutrophil and the macrocyte. So this is a small comparison between the vitamin B12 deficiency versus folate deficiency. Normally, what happens if there is both deficiency, MCB is in both cases is more than 100. And on the same year, you will find a macrocytic picture with hypersegment neutrophils. So we will find same in folate deficiency. Uh, 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 pernicious anemia, yes, in case of folate deficiency, there is uh, not, uh, no any ill effect of pernicious anemia on folate, uh, folate absorption. So homocysteine uh, elevated in both the cases as both help 
up uh, in converting of methane uh, uh, homocysteine into methane methyl malonic acid uh, acid uh, is elevated in elevated in folate deficiency in the so uh, vitamin b12 help uh, isomerization of methyl malonic acid to the uh, succinyl coa in case of this deficiency so its level get raised Uh, so diagnosis a moderate to severe macrobiliary leukopenia with hypersegmented granulocyte low serum vitamin b12 and elevated level of homocysteine and methyl in the serum so the diagnosis is confirmed by striking increase in the reticulocyte and improvement in hematocrit uh, levels be beginning about 5 days after parenteral administration of b12 So, so one of the this or uh, previous days the shilling test is used to confirm uh, confirm about the pernicious anemia confirmation that low b12 represent to deficiency whenever we come to know that vitamin uh, the patient is suffering from vitamin b12 deficiency to make it confirm the gold standard test is we have to see check the methyl malonic acid level and homocysteine level if person is suffering from b12 deficiency the uh, the both levels of methyl malonic and homocysteine is raised long term effect of pernicious actually this uh, pernicious anemia is incidental in onset when person comes to for the medical attention it's a little bit late they uh, come to the doctors person with uh, this having atrophic and metaplastic changes in the gastric mucosa and associated pernicious anemia are at increased risk of developing gastric carcinoma so serum homocysteine levels are raised in individual with b12 deficiency prognosis uh, this pernicious anemia is not due to b12 deficiency actually there is antibodies that are targeting the uh, parietal cells from where the intrinsic factors are needed so if we give a b12 uh, parentally so that can uh, so a person will not get a b12 deficiency with parental high dose of oral vitamin the anemia can be cured and the peripheral neurologic changes reversed or at least halted in the progression but the changes in gastric and the risk of carcinoma are unaffected thank you for paying attention